In the age of social media, social media rating and reviews are so important for any e-commerce business because it helps to grow business credibility and convince the target peoples. There are a few social media websites that can help you providing rating and reviews. And I can talk about Google ratings, Facebook's rating and Yelp rating as well as G2 rating. I would like to welcome you to the Social Proof Easy tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can display social rating or social review to your customer or target people. A look at the Elementor dashboard. I'm dragging and dropping the social proof widget into the section. And see here is Google rating and Facebook ratings. Go to the layout sections. There you will find four review options. It can be Google review, Facebook review, Yelp for G2. And using the switcher button, you can manipulate all of them. I mean, whatever review you want to display. Reload reviews after. These controls will help you how long you want to cache the reviews. It can be hour, day, week, month or year. From column controls, you can define the column and column gap columns. Now similarly, you can set the row gap. If you want to change or if you want to manipulate a social icon, name, rating, total rating, rating and reviews, you can do that. Just you have to control the switcher button. Just you have to work with the switcher button. See icon is missing. Icon name is missing. Total rating is gone. Show rating is missing. Show sure, reviews is missing. If you want to get back them, just you have to active the switcher button like I'm doing. So far, I have shown you the activity of layout sections. Now, jump to the Google reviews. See, there is a message to display Google Place reviews. Please configure Google Map API key. Later, I will explain what is Google Map API key and how you can generate it. Then you can see Google Place ID. Here you have to paste the Google Place ID. If you click on the here button, you will get Google Place ID. Let's see how you can create Google Map API key. So to generate Google Map API key, you have to go to API settings. I click on the element pack and see there is API setting and see the Google map API key if you don't have generated API key you have to generate the API key just you have to click on the generate the API key and it will take you Google Cloud platform page I click on the navigation menu to go to apis and services to credentials and create on create credentials if you create if you feel if you see the api key generate options just you have to click see api key has been generated just copy and go back to the WordPress dashboard and here you have to face the generated Google map API key now go to library so that you can create Google place API key just you have to click and see the message API key enabled before I have active the API key you also have to active the Google place API key Now click on the maps javascript api key and how to make the map javascript api key i have shown it before 
if you enable the javascript api key it will also the same message api enabled if you active maps api maps javascript api key and place api key successfully you will be able to show google reviews using our source approved widget easily now back again to google reviews i click on here and it will take you the google maps enter your business locations name and see there is a place id i will copy the id and we'll paste here and see the google reviews or google rating this way using google place id you can show google rating or reviews automatically if you don't to take the hassles there is options for you actually this way is static and you can set static value from here hopefully you have understood google reviews now come to facebook reviews and see here is page id field if you have a facebook page just you can put the page id name here then you have to give facebook page access token When you will give the Facebook ID name and uh, face the uh, token URL, then you will show the, then you will see the Facebook rating. You can think how to make a Facebook access tokens. If you want to create the access token, just you have to click on this link. The link will take you developer.facebook.com then you can see my apps from my apps you can set you can create your apps for that just you have to click on the create apps if you create if you click on the create apps at a one stage you will find the fields there you will be there you will have to face the, your term and conditions page URL. Uh, for your helps, I can uh, show you the page, show you the screenshot, and from here you will be get, you'll be able to get the uh, idea. And see here is my apps, and uh, look there is BD themes. If you have the apps like this before, then you will get the uh, user token and app tokens that I have pasted. In the field there is another way to show facebook rating if you don't want to take the hassles just you can use a static rating way i'm removing the face id and token access id now come to average rating and total rating and this is actually a static way now look at the G2 review sections and here you can see a message. G2 will show statically right now but we are working for a dynamic part. If you want to show the G2 ratings just you have to put a value statically like I am putting the value. G2 section is quite like Facebook re review sections. Back to layout sections and, and click on the Yelp review button. And see there is another source of rating options. Just click on the Yelp review sections. And here you will find 
a field to paste a business ID. To get a business ID like this, you have to create an account in Yelp. And Yelp is actually a social media review site. And you can see the screenshot. If you have app created in Yelp, you will get client ID and FA key as you see on the screenshot. And see here is the Yelp client ID and Yelp API key. Just you have to paste, uh, paste here the ID and API key. Then you will be able to display the review of Yelp. Now come to style tab to item sections. Here you will be able to give the style to social proof section wise. Under item sections, you can set background color, border type, border radius and padding. If you want, you can add box shadow. Look at the sections, Google reviews, Facebook reviews, Elf reviews and G2 review sections are quite similar. From here you can set icon color, background color, border color and border radius in normal mode. And this icon color will help you to give the color separate icon. And if you want to add a global icon color, you can add color from icon sections and see the. Look, three icon, three icon getting this color except google ratings because from google review sections i have added icon color now i am removing the color and see google review icon color also take the blue color that i have added from icon section Now come to hover mode. Uh, so far what have you seen for Google review styling, you can do the same thing for Facebook reviews, Elf reviews and G2 reviews. Now come to icon sections and before I have uh, seen the work of icon sections and from where you can set color, typography and spacing between icon and rating element. And there is the same controls as, as you've seen in icon sections. 
and you can go for the similar way if you want to change the name color you can do that and this is a global way whatever you change in these sections all sections will get the same thing This time come to rating sections. From here you can set uh, active icon, active rating color, and an active color. And see, unactive color is changing. Here you also can set the spacing. Here is number color controls. Click on the color palette and check. The number color is changing. And lastly, come to review sections. Click on the color palette. And that's it for social proof easy tutorials hopefully these tutorials will be very useful to you and thanks for watching